Hey curl friends and welcome back. So for today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create this crochet U part wig using this Italian perm yakky hair. Today I'm using a crochet wig cap with combs from Model Model. There is one comb in the nape as well as two on the sides. I grabbed a foam mannequin head to begin and I'm just popping this cap right on that mannequin so that we can begin crocheting. I'm using a standard crochet needle hook as well as this Italian perm yakky hair from Authentic. Sam's Beauty sent me over about six packs of this but I only used about four of them. This hair comes pre-looped with an adjustable knot. Starting with the lightest color and the nape of my wig, I'm going to go ahead and stick my crochet needle through, grab the loop for the crochet hair, and bring the end or tail of the crochet hair through that loop. I'm going to pull the loop all the way up to the base and I'm going to tighten or adjust the little band that's attached to the hair to keep it in place. It's really, really simple and easy to do guys. Just stick that crochet needle through, pull the loop through, stick your crochet needle through the loop and bring the hair through the loop. Scoot that knot up towards the base and then tighten with the elastic band. This was my very first time ever using any kind of pre-looped crochet hair with an adjustable band so I did have a bit of a learning curve. The adjustable band is sort of like a little hair tie. It's like a really really thin elastic hair tie. It's extremely fragile and will break on you if you're too rough with it. Here's what one pack of the hair looks like. I'm moving on to my second color which I'll be adding on top and this is the color number 30. I'm going to use that entire full pack and I'm going to start curving all of my crochet braids around to the front as well. The Yaki straight hair is pretty straight but it's also pretty thick so that's what two packs of hair look like. I'm moving on to my third pack and this pack is a color number 33. I already had an idea for the pattern that I wanted to achieve with as my end result for this wig. I wanted to have this nice like tri-dimensional type of look. I didn't want to go for one standard color or two tone colors. I wanted to have as many colors as possible so that when the hair moves and shakes in the wind, you're able to see a lot of dimension and color. Now that I've used all of the colors, I'm just going to repeat the exact same color pattern until I get up to the very top of the wig, which I will be using a color number two for. The color number two is my natural hair color, so it's going to allow my natural hair to blend with the wig seamlessly. Now at this point, you can do the knotless method or you can just continue crochet braiding all the way up to the top. I went ahead and tried on my wig. I left about two to two and a half inches of space at the top so that I'm able to cut this cap. I'm using my flat iron at the highest degree according to my manufacturer's packaging and I'm just going ahead and straightening out this hair. This is the most essential step to having this hair look as natural as possible. Flat ironing the hair will allow it to have less of a bulky look and you won't see each and every individual crochet braid or pre-looped braid in the head. You guys see how everything's starting to blend together and look like a sewing or weave compared to this side here? So I'm just going to go ahead and repeat the exact same steps on the right side. I got it as straight as I possibly could but of course I'll have to go back in and make sure that everything's laying nice and flat. I can already see a few bulky areas. So I know you guys are wondering how the heck did she cut this netted cap without it unraveling. So I started off with the band. I just ran the thread through the actual elastic band first and then my idea is to stitch a straight line going towards the back of this U part. So I'm pretty much going to that little curved area of the U of this wig. So I'm just stitching straight across. I'm making sure that I'm grabbing each and every part of the net so that when I cut this cap, nothing unravels. As far as my stitches, I'm pretty much just going with the stick your needle in the cap and go through the loop to create a knot for every single stitch. I want this to be as tight as possible, just like as if I were to run this on a sewing machine. I want this stitch to be nice and flat and straight, and then I'll start to curve around the back of the U towards the back of this U part. 
The way that the net is set up, it's pretty much like little squares or diamonds on this net. So I'm making sure to grab each and every one of those as I'm stitching. Also, not forgetting to go through the sections where the actual braids are attached. I'm grabbing every single part of this net and working my way up to the front. Essentially what we're doing here is blocking off this entire part of the wig so that we're able to cut this cap and it won't unravel. All of those stitches are going to hold that net into place so it doesn't unravel so whenever you cut it, it will hold just fine. And as you guys can see here, it's a straight stitch. I'm going in with my scissors to go ahead and cut the cap. I'm making sure to be extremely careful and I'm just going straight down the middle. I skipped over the elastic band because I wanted to go ahead and secure that band so that I'm able to use the band when I cut it as little ear tabs or tabs for me to be able to grip this wig. So I left the band on and I went ahead and stitched from the edge of the band and I went right back over my entire crochet wig circle. I'm just stitching once again the same exact way, looping through, going through the loop and knotting it every single time until I get all the way up to the front again. This particular step is extremely important to mask away or hide all of your loose and raggedy ends from the net itself when you cut it. And when you finish up that step, you can go ahead and cut that elastic band. And your U part is pretty much complete, guys. So now let's get into styling. I went ahead and just cut this hair. The hair layered a little bit weird. I didn't really like the jagged edges, so I just grabbed some men's clippers as well as a comb and I'm just lining up this comb I just wanted a really really blunt cut super super easy to achieve I just make sure that the hair is detangled and then just follow the shape of the comb or the straightness of the comb with the razor itself I went back in and defined my little raggedy cut that I did with the clippers with some scissors I'm just going back in and making sure that everything is super straight and of course, because this is a blunt cut, a lot of times you'll end up with a lot of weight towards the bottom of the hair. So I'm going to go back in with some hair thinning shears and just make sure that I'm taking out a lot of the weight towards the bottom. As well as the top, I want a lot more movement. So I went in through the top and I just went pretty much like in diagonal cuts and got rid of a lot of the weight in the hair. And that's pretty much it guys. I'm ready to finally go ahead and sew down or install this hair. As you guys can see, I got my nice blunt cut. It has lots of body and movement. I can swing it. All of the colors are just flowing and showing great. As far as my braid pattern, I do have a separate video on that. I didn't want this video to be super, super long. So you guys can check that out and see how I was able to measure and see how far to braid my hair back. But I just have these two anchor braids. I went through my actual U-part wig itself. I knotted the end of it twice and then I just went ahead and sewed this wig down. Just like a normal U-part wig, it looks exactly like a U-part wig at this point. As far as stitching, I'm going to go ahead and stitch from the hairline all the way back to where that U starts and then do the same exact thing on the opposite side. Of course, with this cap, I did get three combs, so I have two on my sides and then one in the nape. This is going to help to lay this wig super duper flat. So I just went ahead and stuck those combs in. I'm just going to repeat the same exact steps again on the opposite side. I'm going through the braid first and then going through the wig cap itself. And after just a few quick minutes, our entire wig and install is complete. Last but not least, to finish off our entire hairstyle is to blend your natural hair with this U-part wig. So I just pretty much stretched my hair with a blow dryer and I'm just going to go in with my flat iron and some heat protectant to create a middle part. I ended up twisting my hair with the wig just for a different kind of look, but you can go ahead and straighten your leave out on top of this U-part and you're pretty much complete. It's the same exact steps as installing a regular U-part wig. So I really I really hope you guys enjoyed this new technique that I created. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one.